and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Front Mission 5, Scars of the War. And welcome back to my attempt to finish Mission 10. This is, of course, my second attempt to do this mission. Um, I wasn't going to record tonight because I spent a lot of time doing setup and stuff, uh, but I decided, what the heck, might as well do it. So, um, back to the hangar. Let's take a look at what I got going on this time. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the last video was that I did change out my color scheme. Um, you might recall that I had the steel blue off color, or armor color, um, but I swapped that out for this saltery blue. Um, I think it actually matches the Strike Wyvern's uh, pattern quite nicely in terms of being something you could imagine as being an actual camo uh, pairing, uh, because, I mean, at least, at least just looking at the Vonter from this distance, um, with this combination, it, it does kind of confuse your eyes a little bit. It, it's a little bit hard to distinguish the form of the Vonter as easily as you could with some of the other combinations. Yeah, previously I had this, um, Iron Blue, which, which looks cool, not gonna lie. Um, and it was suggested I use the marine blue, but actually I find this kind of turquoise color to be pretty questionable as uh, matching for the Strike Wyvern's pattern. Um, so up to you, of course, what you want to use, uh, but it's not something I would use um, just because it says marine in it. Maybe this was the one that uh, you were talking about in the thread, one of these two perhaps. Uh, I could kind of see that, you know. Um, but I do much prefer this sultry blue as a pair for the Strike Wyvern's camo. Anyway, enough about that. Um, let's take a look at what Walter's got going on here. So, once again, um, I upgraded to the Frost HW body. Um, I didn't touch the rest of his parts, they're all at rank 4, and I upgraded to rank 6 shotguns. Um, somebody mentioned in the comments of a previous video that, you know, the shotgun sucks and uh, the machine gun is better and the machine gun's better than the flamethrower and the shotgun. Well, yes, it's true that the machine gun is better than uh, the shotgun. However, the flamethrower that we'll be getting if we successfully complete the bonus conditions for the next mission um, actually, I would say is better than um, many machine guns and uh, certainly many shotguns. So you might ask, like, well, why are you using shotguns if they're no good? Um, and why are shotguns no good? Well, it's not that they're no good, but the issue with shotguns is that their range is less than what you could get with a uh, machine gun of equivalent rank. And machine guns, or sorry, range is very important in Front Mission 5. Uh, for two reasons. First of all, um, it allows you to move less, and that allows you to have more AP, just burn, um, you know, with attacks or um, whatever actions you might take. Um, and uh, <coughs> the other thing it allows you to do is engage in more links um, because you have more range, so there's a higher possibility that you'll be able to engage in more links. Um, so, you know, why am I using shotguns if I could be using machine guns? Well, I just wanted to do something different, you know? Um, I wanted to make Walter into this badass who just charges into battle with dual shotguns and blows the crap out of the enemies. And, you know, we are in the easy mode of this game. Uh, in case some of you didn't know, there is a, basically a new game plus mode, which is the hard mode. Um, and I will talk about that a little bit more in the future, but suffice it to say it is it, Once you get into hard mode, you can't you know do what I'm doing now and basically just have fun with your build You really have to think um, quite intensely about how to best uh, You know min max and get through the game uh, But anyway, yeah, that's why I'm using shotguns. Um, I hope that in the future uh, in the survival simulator I'll be able to pick up some better shotguns than the Gale because these, these are obviously really not very good at all. And I would hope that we can use something better in the future. 
Um, right. So let's uh, move on then to um, Edward. So Edward, he's got the rank six uh, Eldos body, as I did in the last mission. Um, he's stuck with this uh, frost left arm, and he's got the Nomscar uh, right arm. So this is all pretty much the same. Um, he's got the rank five frost legs, so that we can make sure we get that seven movement. Um, same repair, but I now have him equipped with the Raptor FX machine gun. Uh, so let's just take a look at that. As you can see, it has a... Now I'm just trying to look here what the function of that might be. It looks like it has dual magazines. That's interesting. I, I wonder... It looks like there is sort of like a gravity-fed magazine at the at the front end of the gun, and then in the middle there, that could also be a magazine. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like the FNP90 um, SMG. Uh, nevertheless, um, this is quite a good gun. I had to spend quite a bit of RP to get it where it is. Um, it's very strong. And um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of the shield for this mission at least. And the reason for that is because um, that way we can remove the uh, attack limit and he can make better use of this nice gun that we just uh, purchased with our RP. So he'll be able to do more, more attacks and hopefully he won't die. <laughs> uh, we'll see. You know, as you can see, I'm out of CP uh, despite having done some arena gambling because I just spent so much um, preparing for this mission. All right, let's take a look at Damon. Um, as you can see, I've swapped in some cross legs for him. Um, and that was to boost up his movement. Um, like, you know, I said we, you should use the, the gust legs in this mission, but actually the gust and the frost have exactly the same weight and exactly the same movement range. The question is really, do you want to trade defense uh, for evasion? Um, the, the Gust has better evasion, the Frost has better defense, um, and HP, and that, that's kind of the, really the only difference. So if you want to use the Frost, go ahead and use the Frost. If you want to use the Gust, go ahead and use the Gust. That's up to you. Um, he's got the rank 6 Cheyenne body, and, or Cheyenne body, and uh, this gave him enough um, power to equip the Donkey DX2 uh, launcher, which is this giant launcher you see here, which again, I purchased with RP, upgrading my level one donkey launcher to, what is it, rank five-ish? Yeah, five, I think. Yeah, rank five, yep. And what is the advantage of the donkey uh, DX2? Well, at this level, um, it gives you a greater sensor range. So what that means is if you are uh, launching your missiles with the aid of a uh, jammer doing the spotting for you, you get a plus one range um, on the, the radius that the um, jammer affords you. Uh, you know, this isn't amazing, but what is amazing is that the DX2 has reduced AP cost relative to some other launchers. Um, and that's just fantastic, um, you know, be <laughs> because AP is a really big concern when you're using launchers, um, especially how it limits your movement and so on and so on. Right, so um, that is all that's going on there. Same grenade launcher as before. Um, Jamie, he is much the same as before. Uh, the only real difference is that um, he's got the rank six rifle, and then he's got a um, he's got a Rexen arm on his off arm. 
just because of the weight savings that that allows us to have. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Christine, same as before, except uh, she doesn't have the highest rank of turbo backpack that I could possibly put on there. So yeah, I could upgrade, but I don't have enough money for it, unfortunately. Um, hopefully that'll go okay. Uh, now, Jim, um, he is quite heavily upgraded compared to where he was before. So, I, you know, I said that the machine guns are really good, right? Um, well, another very good machine gun is the Art Assault. And you might say, well, how'd you get the Art Assault? Um, you have to clear the Battle Simulator number two, and in order to clear the Battle Simulator... Well, clear the Battle Simulator number two, you first have to unlock it, and the way to do that is to clear Battle Simulator number one within a certain number of turns. I just basically went back and blew through it, and then cleared level two, got this machine gun, and then used my RP to upgrade it up to the SP rank, or like rank five SP variant. Um, this is a really cool gun. Um, it removes the shield limit, as you can see here. So what that means is that you can equip a shield and still get multiple attacks in. You're not you're not uh, throttled down to one attack like you are normally. Um, you might ask, like, why didn't you just give this to Ed and use a shield with him like you normally do? Well, the reason is because um, the back the repair backpack uh, has like it requires so much. Um, power that uh, I don't really have enough to use this gun, a shield, and the repair backpack, so it's a better fit for Jim. He can still use all his major skills, um, and yeah, doesn't need to use a flamethrower. That'll give him better range, and he's got this nice shield with 20% damage reduction. Um, again, quite nice. Uh, so I think he should do quite well for us. Um, I hope so, at least. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, that's enough uh, yammering. It's time to get down to business. Party time da! As uh, Lynn might say. Uh, okay. Oof. Okay, here we go. All right, so one important thing to do is to get Christine out front. Um, excuse me, a moment, I have to sneeze here. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and then we also want to maybe put... Do we want to put Jim in front, or do we want to put Walter in front? Let's put Walter in front. He's got less range with that shotgun. And... Ed... Jamie... And... Let's go. Okay, so... Um... Somebody said, I think it was like uh, Walter Fung, our, our very own Walter Fung, um, on the comments, like, why didn't you just take out this second Garcade in advance so that you didn't have to bother with it? Well, the reason is that if you take out both Garcades, the mission ends prematurely, and you can't clear all the other enemies so you don't get the bonus. So, <laughs> not only do you have to protect these landing craft, not only do you have to destroy these mobile weapons, not only do you have to kill all of these enemy monsters, you have to kill all the enemy monsters before killing this Garcade and making sure that the landing craft are still okay. Oof, so that is a tall order. But we're gonna do it. Gotta do it this time. Come on! Ninety-nine percent. Ninety-nine percent. Enough. Let's go.
can see that uh, Raptor does quite a lot of damage. 23 a pop, which is no slouch. Alright, so we are basically um, on target, so to speak, uh, to defeat this guy in time. Pretty much have to defeat him within the first uh, two turns. And he's done. Oh, don't have enough for that. Okay. Okay, so this is the point where we start making our mad dash for the enemy. Um, so the characters that we want to send against the other mobile weapon, uh, those would be um, we want Christine and Walter to take care of these frontal forces, and I guess um, Jim as well. And then Jamie, Edward, and Damon will go forward to try to block enemies. shots of this guy, I guess. Oh, that's nice. Two shots, two hits. Fortunately, no way I can hit this guy. Let's move on up there. quite in range to be able to use that effectively. It's okay.
All right. So he took a beating there, but that's all right. Standing here so that you know, we're in the way, or like this guy's in the way, so that they're less likely to link, uh, counter link against us. attack that guy because um, the walrus still had some AP left over and we don't want that no, no dice not enough AP oh alright then after Walter there. Okay. So this guy doesn't have a whole lot of AP left. So let's try to use him as a bit of shield. Bites the dust. All right, this is where we got to start surrounding the mobile weapon. So, who can move the furthest? Okay, you can get out in front. That's good do anything and just stand there. That is cool. So I'll replenish your missiles. Okay, now Ed. So Edward will go We're gonna do an all repair. Edward will go here. And I guess we might as well do an attack with Ed. Oh 
Okay. So the trick, according to my friend, the uh, leader of the translation project and writer of the FAQ on this game, the guy who wrote the book on it, so to speak, is to ignore the Garcade, just to stand in its way and take on these guys to whatever extent you can. So we'll see how that pans out for us. Uh, but first we gotta take care of this guy. So I think this may be an opportunity to use an EMP. I feel like that would be smart here. be nice to have Christine handle this guy, but I think she's going to be able to do more for us up front here. So we will move her down here. Um, and I will not attack her this turn. Save up some AP. Out to the donkey. No, still uh, no luck there. And Ed is here in worse shape than she is. So we'll do a repair on you. You can do an attack on this guy. Oh, come on, because of that uh, height difference, I can't uh, heal her this turn. That just sucks. I might as well do an attack, I guess. So he did not recover from the attack down that round. Very good for us. All right. say he's dead. Go, Walter! Now, it, I would say, is time to do a little bit of this. can't even imagine how much damage that was. And... That... Needs me up. No, it doesn't. Wait, okay, this is Jamie here, yes. Yes. So, 
Amy needs to move in order to free up. We have one character here and one character here. As long as we have one character on each side, we're good. So I'm going to move Amy. That's not a clear shot. So I'll, I will have to move him here. And then we can get... Link against that guy. Christine is not going to do anything this turn, unfortunately. Just gotta keep this guy in place. And then you... I think you should do some repairs. Oh my god, look at that fire! It's a damn good thing he's got those frost legs on, eh? Give him a little bit of evasion. They don't even care if they're shooting each other in the back, they just want him dead. Take out that grenade! Grenade launcher. This is what they must be thinking. Alright. But... Fortunately for them, the grenade launcher is not out of the picture quite yet. So let's just think about this. I would like Christine to be able to move. What I'm going to do... I don't know if I move, then... I think I know how to do this. Look at that machine gun range. It's glorious, isn't it? Art Assault has very long range. Okay, Walter is in the picture, but what I want to do here is to move Christine here, get her to attack this guy. position for Jamie's position. Or rather, we swap Jamie into her position. Doesn't have enough AP to use any items or attacks. That's okay. I'm just gonna keep that mobile weapon staying put. Continue to move Walter up so that he'll be able to engage the other enemies next turn. Uh, maybe better to so we get a higher percentage attack. Oh, he's so close to dead. Okay, Edward. You are going to move here. You're going to do some 
repairs, much needed repairs on our good friend. Missing two arms. Don't die, Ed. Oh, we're going to save our AP. Thank you very much. Okay. So this guy is trying to make a break for it, and we are going to say. No, sir. You are not going anywhere. Oh, no. Oh, that hurts. Ooh, that is a bad, bad turn of events. We're not going to give up. We are not going to give up. Oh, what was I thinking? It was such a bad move. I, For some reason, I thought he had a lot more life than he actually did. Oh, it was a terrible decision. But I, th I think it's okay. I think we'll be alright. I, I mean, it's, it's a waste, for sure, but... So, definitely, Ed needs to just heal that arm of his. Now... What is my next play? I think we're gonna wanna go after this guy. much of demon except this, so just go ahead and do it. It's not ideal, but it's damage. So his legs are taken out. Um gonna go ahead and kill him so they can't make any more attacks even though he's not able to move so he's not really a threat to the landing craft but given how low my life is um, I feel like I need to take him out of the picture And we 
you're going to restore your arm. And we want to take out this guy next, I believe. Hopefully you do a little bit of this so that nobody's worried about accidentally shooting her and avoids doing links by mistake. Jamie actually ended up shooting Walter in the back there, which was <sighs> unfortunate. <laughs> it's okay though, it's okay. Double bunch, yes! I feel like this is coming together. I feel like we're gonna make something happen. This will cause the Garcade to move, which is not what I want, admittedly, but I feel like I need to be dealing some damage, even if that's the case. At least it can only really move laterally, so that's something. Nothing. Can't do anything. It's okay. Okay. Let's get Jim on his way back. Surround the Garcade for sure. Um, but let's try to do this a little bit intelligently so we can maximize our damage. So if we put Edward here, uh, then he can shoot this guy. Good. So there's Jamie. Let's see. down just against the dregs now so um, let us so we have who can move still Walter can move Amy can move so let's move here with Edward go after this guy Oh, 
point blank to the face. Okay, Walter needs to stay on that side. Jamie needs to move up here. at the end of the turn. Don't want to kill that guy before it's time. So who... <laughs> do you have any heals here? Do you have an all repair 200? So let's make use of that. Good use of it. And I believe that healing... Actually... What's the range on that? It's not very good, is it? No. So we'll just go ahead and here so it's not get in the way. Heal up Ed as we can. One more solid shot. Move here. Take him out. Now we move up with this guy. Actually, hang on. First we'll move Christine into position. And we'll move up and attack with him so she can get an extra attack. Took one for the team. Go, Walter! Go! Yes! Glorious victory! Fire Ant. Strange name, but it is the best flamethrower that we can get in easy mode. Possibly the best in the game. So, yes, this will be acquired. And after this, we get an excellent uh, cutscene that is pretty damn cool, I have to say. So, let's go ahead and enjoy that.
撃のしあった前期攻撃を返すブラックドータより各リーダー直線上に誰も立たせるな作戦終了前期撤収を急げ<音声>フェン私が変わらないと言ったなもう遅い私はすでに戻れないところにいる So, you know, it's good to have a leader who's got your back, especially when she has a gigantic uh, sniper rifle that she can use from the deck of an aircraft carrier. <laughs> uh, that is some crazy stuff there. Uh, yeah, so this um, next base section is going to be chock full of stuff we got to do. Um, it's really important. Um, so you can look forward to that in the next video uh, but I hope you enjoyed that uh, I know I did um, glad things turned out well and we finally managed to get the items we were looking for and you know decisively defeat the enemy like I think it was kind of no contest yes we lost some arms here and there but uh, I think we really rocked their world so that's what preparation and a whole lot of RP spent can get you. Until next time, I hope to, or I, sorry, I hope you enjoyed this video.